Hey, what's up, guys? So today uh, I want to talk about uh, a new topic, uh, which I recently find interesting, called extremal graph theory. Okay, so uh, today I will just uh, give you a very simple example of this the uh this mental theorem, and uh describe why this is an uh, interesting topic. Okay, so let me just explain what this uh extremal graph theory. Okay, so the, the, the settings that we have a graph, which is uh, vertices and edges. And then we want to ask the following. We want to ask, uh, let's say we take some sub, take some particular graph, uh, H. Okay. And then we want to ask uh, what is the maximum edges of G can be if G does not have subgraph H. So let's say uh, uh, the number of vertices I denote is N and the number of edges I denote is N. Okay, so basically I want to uh, ask if someone give me the some particular graph H, I want to ask what's the, the possible, the maximum number of edges. of G can be if uh, if G does not have a subgraph H. Okay, so uh, maybe it's a uh, fairly, uh, uh, fairly uh, not not intuitive. So let's take a very simple example. Okay, so let's say uh, take H to be a triangle. Okay, so you have three vertices and the three edges. So triangle definition is three vertices and each each uh, two vertices is connected by H. Okay. And then let's say uh G let's say we consider G is four. Okay, sorry. Uh the graph has the graph has uh n ver uh, four vertices, four vertices. So let's consider any graph G, which is VE and the uh, V is four. And uh, we want to ask what's the maximum E. So what's the maximum E? Or maximum M. Okay. So you can easily plot, right? So let's say I have four points. And uh, if I draw this, draw this, draw this, draw this, then there's no triangle, right? But if I draw the final, uh, maybe this, this line or this line, there will be a triangle, okay? So now the maximum n is, uh, let's say, equal to four, okay? So if there's a four vertices and I, I insist in I insist there's no uh, triangle, uh, there's no triangle, then, then the n must be less or equal to four, okay? So how about general? How about in general? Let's say uh, G is VE and uh, V is N and E is N. So I want to know the function of N. I want to know a function that uh, M is bounded by F of N if G cannot uh, have a subgraph triangle, cannot have a triangle which is triangle. Okay, so usually this is called a triangle uh triangle free. Okay. And then this is very old theorem called the Mantel's theorem. Okay, so we will prove this theorem. Uh if uh, G is uh, G has uh, G is triangle free. Triangle free or triangle free. Then uh the maximum edges is bounded by uh, n squared divided by four. Okay, to be more precise, that you can uh, to be more precise that uh, one can take the oh, precise that one can take the lower function. Okay, and the notice uh, the bound is tight. Okay, and the reason is very simple. Let's say uh, we can take n divided by two points, n divided by two points, and I form a bipartite graph. So I can, for each vertices that I connected from both sides. And then let's do this. Okay, so total we have n squared divided by four edges. 
and there is no triangle, right? Because these two, there's no uh points that connected uh connected between both parts. Okay, so uh, the rest of video just proved the uh Mantel's theorem, and uh, in general that uh, uh we can we try to solve this given arbitrary graph H, and we want to solve this. But uh, for a triangle, for a triangular three, this one is uh this problem is simple. Okay, so uh, uh, it's a little to prove that uh, uh, they are both very simple. So let me just present the uh, present uh to proof. Okay, so the proof one is uh very simple. Let's consider the consider x and y are in a graph, right? So let's consider let's say x and y are different. Let's consider the x and y belongs to h and the degree x plus degree y so d of x is a degree so basically it's uh, x y uh, x y belongs to edges okay so degree x basically the all the pair that connected to x okay and then this is the the term that we try to see Okay, so notice that uh, each edges, right? Each edges or each x uh, connected to counts d of x, right? So this is the same as uh, x belongs to all vertices and the d of x squared because each ver edges connected to x counts d of x terms, right? So if I sum over edges to sum over vertices, basically d of x squared. Okay, so this one is uh, true for every graph, for uh, any simple graph. Okay, and uh, on, uh, on the other hand, let's say we take any uh, vertices Z. Okay, so any vertices Z, which is different from X and Y, then the Z can, Z can only, right? Z can only, Connect x or connect y. The reason is that uh, if z, right, so z can only connect here or here, right? Because if z is here, then z cannot connect here, right? Otherwise, there will be a triangle, right? So z can only uh, connect x or connect y. So this means that the uh, degree of x plus degree y is less than or equal to the number of vertices, because for all vertices. He only con he only contributes d of x plus d of y, at one of them, right? So for each vertices, either this contribute to one or contribute to one, but cannot be both. And the total have a minus one vertices, so let's say d of x plus d of y is less equal to n. No, right? So combine these two, then we have x y belongs to e, d of x plus d of y. Is basically bounded by uh, n e. Okay, so which means that the uh, summation of d square x, x belongs to v, is less than equal to n e. And uh, notice that the summation of d of x, x belongs to v, this is 2m. This is a handshaking lemma. Okay, so uh, by Koji Schwartz. We have, we have what? We have a, uh, uh, n e. Minus n is greater or equal to four m squared. All right, this is Koji Schwartz. Okay, so it's off. Sorry, uh, it's not n e's n m. Because the number of edges, which I denote is m. Okay, so it's four m squared less or equal to n m. Right, so, uh, sorry, stupid. <laughs> so it's this, oh, so it's 4m squared less or equal to n m, n squared m, n squared m. So let's say m m canceled, 
So m is there, so equal to n squared divided by four. Okay, finish your proof. Okay, consider proof two. Okay, so proof two is uh more uh more like more amazing that uh very hard to think of. Okay, so the idea is that uh let's say take a to be a subgraph of G, where A is a independent set of G. Maybe you can take a maximum independent set, but it's not important to say we take maximum independent set of G. So this means that there's no edges connecting between A, okay? So we have A over here, and there's no edge between them. So every edges can only connect out of A. Okay, so let's say uh, B is the vertices which delete uh, A. So let's call this points B. Okay, so what's the number of edges that we can do? Right, so number of edges will less or equal to. So any edges can only come from B, right? Must touch with B, cannot touch with A. So E is less or equal to three. The E just exactly the same as so it should be M. Should be exactly the same as X belongs to B and the degree of X. Right? Because any any edges must attach from B. Must attach from B. Okay, so it's M must be equal to X belongs to B, D of X. Okay. Uh, then, uh, then it's trivial, right? Because, uh, now notice that d of x is less or equal to a. The size of a. Okay. Uh, why this is true? Because if d of x, if d of x is greater than the size of a. So let me just draw something. So if d of if for particular x. S squared or equal to size of A. That means that X must connect some points, which is outside from A. Okay, so what this means is that uh, you can draw here, and uh, all these X are connected. Oh, so that you have something like this. And uh, maybe all this from A, and there are some point B here. Okay. But then, uh, but then all these points are not connected, right? Because B cannot connect it to all these points. But that means that uh, if you can add this point to A, become a larger independent set. So since we, we choose A to be maximum independent set, so uh, there should not be a larger independent set, right? So otherwise that, so if there is a point where degree X is greater than equal to, is greater than A, that you can find additional a point B, you can put B inside A such that A become a larger independent set, which violate A is a maximum independent set. Okay. Uh, so M is uh, X from B D of X, where it's bounded by A times B. Because each of D of X is bounded by A, and there are total B vertices, now by uh, A, M, G, and E in quality. So our symmetric mean uh, greater or equal to geometry mean. So it's A plus B divided by four squared, which is exactly A plus B, right? A plus B is the total number of vertices. So it's N squared divided by four. Okay. Uh, so these are two proof of this uh, mental theory. Okay, so next time that uh, we can uh, introduce more and go to like more exotic graph. So we can, next time we will go to we can go to where H is basically the complete graph. Right? For example, H is the uh, K4, right? this is K4 or maybe K5. Okay, so we, we will start you H when H is a complete graph. Okay, so uh, see you guys uh, next videos.